Most people in America are familiar with how we do things, what we say about things, and how we feel about things. Unfortunately, our opinions are not our experiences, and our opinions are not our education, and our opinions don't matter when it comes to the law. In America, we have decency laws, and decency laws govern what we can and cannot do with ourselves in public, as well as what we can and cannot do to other people in public. You see, other people are not the problem today, and our own selves are rarely not the problem either. When we talk about a particular hot topic, we have the right to have our opinion, we have the right to have our feelings, we have a right to have our thinking, we have the right to be dialogic and mean that we can think about different points of view and still come to a conclusion, and that's how we come up with these agreements to say we can agree to disagree so we can stay friends. But the reality is, in the end, we have to figure out what we feel that our Lord in Heaven Heavenly Father and Divine Mother, whatever word you use to describe them, feels about what we're doing in the world. Now when I say that, I'm going to step aside from that concept that people often misinterpret the Lord. People often think that they are so great in their Bible knowledge that they know what God is saying clearly in the concept of exegesis, and I forget the other word at this moment of time that talks about the concept of understanding society back then, but here's the deal. The yeah, direct transplantation of something is still interpretation by a human being. And the direct interpretation of a concept that's going on in society way back then is still an interpretation by a human being. And human beings today often monkey up God's plans for other people, and that we absolutely all see every day. Think of the number of parents under the concept of parentage and the fourth kind of proven P of a human being's life in America, outside the three P's of personhood, paperwork, and property, and now we have parentage of those people who actually have to parent a child with some sort of special need, a child with some sort of disability, a, a child with some sort of unique sexuality, and openly those people are having to figure out how to parent their people without problem in society today. In life, we have moments of time to talk about what we'd like for our children, but that doesn't mean that our children are interested in what we'd like for them. At the same time, we have a right to tell our children and tell our teenagers what we prefer them to wear when we're going to a particular function because of the appropriateness of the clothing, but sometimes we have to not care so the, chi the child feels the embarrassment in the room. The same is not any different for when we're an adult and we misconstrue the clothing that we should have on or the inconvenience of time that prevents us from wearing the right clothing. And we maybe just didn't have the thought, the forethought, to throw some better clothing in our car, or maybe because we were the speaker, we had the privilege of being able to present ourselves how the fuck we wanted to because we're the leader of the event. And that is most definitely true. In life, we have moments of time to speak the truth about parentage and parentage of kids that have a different type of living in the future of their life can be difficult to parent. Difficult to parent because they recognize that they're sort of an outcast in society, difficult to parent because they don't know how their parents would love them or not if they like variety and I'm just gonna kinda keep it lightweight and let you let your brain start your thinking caps on to figure out what I'm talking about but the bottom line is as a parent we love our child and we love our child how they are and what we do with our children is teach them how they attain the three S's and how we are they are responsible personally and individually for the three to four P's including the fifth P which is privacy so in life, when we're dealing with a child who has got a different sexuality than us, obviously as a biological parent versus an adoptive parent, the easiest way we can handle this is saying, okay, well maybe that means that you will either produce a child through a unique situation like a surrogate, or you will adopt a child from a family that threw it away.